Hey chocolate friends, today I am going to talk to you about two of my favorite things. The first one is chocolate and the second one is books. So a while ago, probably about six months ago now, I posted a video about my favorite non-fiction chocolate books. I'll put a link to it up here. Uh, this time I am going to talk about some kids books that I like that have to do with chocolate. It's been tricky because children's books are very easy to self-publish nowadays and so there's lots of books out there. Some of them have great information, some of them have um, good information and terrible pictures, some of them have both good information and good pictures. Then there's the levels. So I'm going to talk about some um, really easy read aloud books, some more difficult read aloud books, read by yourself children's books, and then some older books for maybe uh, early teens or adults if you want to read them as well. So I'm going to start first with the read aloud books. These are ones that if you had little kids you would be reading with them that they probably would not be reading on their own or they might just be looking at the pictures, you know how little kids do. So my first one is Cacao to Chocolate. This is by Nicole Hewitt. Um, she is from Canada. And the interesting thing about this book is that all of the pictures in here are painted with cacao butter. So that's an interesting thing. It's very simple. Let me show you that. So this is the Cacao to Chocolate from Nicole. All of the, it's very simple, and all of the paintings, oh, all of the paintings in here, she did, she's also the illustrator, with um, colored cocoa butter. So that's kind of fun. There's her midge. So very simple, very easy read aloud book. So the next one is another very simple read aloud book. It's called Cacao to Chocolate by BJ Best. Um, I like this one because it has mostly accurate information and gorgeous pictures. A lot of times the books won't have the beautiful colorful pictures of the cacao. Take a look at the inside of this one. This one I like because it's got accurate information and it also has or mostly accurate information, nice pictures. Like here you can clearly see the shell and the bean. So good pictures, beautiful, colorful pods. So nice read aloud, simple read aloud book. So the next couple of books are longer read aloud books. The first one is Grandpa Cacao. And this one is by Elizabeth Zunon. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but this is a book written by someone who's familiar with Africa and Ivory Coast and the chocolate industry. So this one, Grandpa Cacao, is a fiction story, but it is written by someone who was born in the United States but grew up in uh, grew up in the Ivory Coast. So it's got lovely illustrations that will keep you engaged. But it focuses on the farmer and how they are involved in making chocolate and family. So, and at the end, it does have some, has a recipe for the chocolate cake. It does have some information on how bean to bar is made and also some information about the history, the science and the realities of the cocoa trade. The next one is this one. It's from a series, Who Made My Lunch? And it's called From Cocoa Beans to Chocolate. So they have a whole series that you can get on that. And this one is by Bridget Hios. Who Made My Lunch? This one uh, focuses on the where chocolate comes from. So it's got nice illustrations of the cocoa pods growing on the trees, being picked, how the fermentation happens. So just a nice read aloud book. 
so that's a nice one. The next one is Alex the Awesome and the Crazy Quest for the Golden Pod. This one is by June Ann Alkins and Janine Mendes Franco. Let me show you the inside of this one. All right, Alex the Awesome is going on a hunt for where cacao and chocolate comes from. So lovely pictures in this, an exciting adventure involving a rat. Farmers won't like rats around their cacao trees, but <laughs> that's the way this one goes. Um, exciting pictures, fun um, graphic words. This one had something interesting in it, dancing the cacao that I had never heard of before. So I had to explore that one a little bit. So just a fun book to read out loud. Got s it has some information at the end. So just a fun one. My last read aloud book that is um, one that you would read with your kids is called No Monkeys, No Chocolate. This one is by Melissa Stewart and Alan Young. And Alan Young is actually an expert in cocoa pollination. So some good information in here. Let's take a look at the inside. One is No Monkeys, No Chocolate. This one, as I mentioned, is co-authored by a expert in cacao pollination. This one focuses more on the ecology of chocolate and it goes backwards. Um, what's involved, look at that beautiful illustration of a cacao flower, isn't that gorgeous? Nice illustrations, um, good information, talking about the ecology. Then we've got these kind of little sarcastic worms here in the bottom. Right, let me see if I can get you to see this. Sarcastic worms that make comments, which are kind of fun. Uh, just goes back about the ecology of the rainforest and the tree and everything that's involved in bringing a cacao pod and obviously monkeys <laughs> to fruition. So this one mostly focuses on the ecology and rainforest and less on chocolate making, but still a great book to read. So when you move up a level from there, um, you get into books that kids will be reading on their own, but not like chapter books yet. So this is one that I liked. It was called The Sweet Story of Hot Chocolate. And this is by Stephen Krensky. This one obviously is not focused on craft chocolate, but it's got some good information and fun illustrations. So here's the first, um, not necessarily a chapter book, but more than a read aloud book. You probably wouldn't read this in one sitting with a child. This one is The Sweet Story of Hot Chocolate. Lo fun illustrations, some interesting history in there. Um, obviously focusing on hot chocolate versus craft chocolate, but still some interesting history, um, specifically American and British history. And yeah, just, a fun book to read when the when your child has learned to read on their own. The next one is a DK reader. It's a level three DK reader called The Story of Chocolate by CJ Polin. And let me show you the inside why I like this book. And then this one, DK does, one of the things that DK does really well is incorporate pictures into their books. And that is what I like about this one as well. So they've got lots of great information, gorgeous pictures, historical pictures. Um, everyone's seen this one, right? The chocolate froth. So lots of, lots of great pictures to go with the information. So just interesting to look at and to read as a child on your own and will keep you engaged as you read through the book. Okay, so when kids are getting a little bit older, getting more into chapter books, able to read on their own, able to read more complex material, um, I have a few books that fall into that. Uh, one of them is fiction, most of them are nonfiction. So my first one is this one, The Candy Bomber by Michael O. Tunnel. And this is the story of someone called The Chocolate Pilot. And you, if you've watched my Instagram, you know I've talked about this one before. Okay, so The Candy Bomber, this one is 
a chapter book, but not quite a big fat chapter book. So it's got these beautiful black and white pictures of things about the war, things about airplanes, things about um, what the candy bomber did. So here's a little <laughs> hint. Um, yeah, a really interesting history that took place at the end of World War II. Easy for a child to read on their own, so an introduction to chapter books with lots of great pictures in there as well. So that's why I like this one. The next couple, I mean really these ones you could classify as adults would like them as much as kids. So the next book is The Jaguar and the Cacao Tree. This is a really thick chapter book. This is for um, older kids. So um, this one is uh, by uh, Brigitte Racine and it is about um, a, a family of researchers or a research the mom and dad, the dad is the research, the cacao researcher, and they go down to a cacao growing area. And the things that the kid learns about cacao and culture, and it tries to be very accurate. And so it can kind of be a little dry sometimes, but it is good information in there. Um, the next one is, I don't need to show you the inside of that one because it's just a plain old chapter book. <laughs> Just a regular old book. Um, the next one is Chocolate the Consuming Passion by Sandra Boynton. If you have little kids, you've probably read some of her books before. She's got so, lots of iconic uh, books for little kids. It's got her adorable um, drawings in here. It's slightly on the sarcastic side, so your teenagers might like it a little bit more. Um, Sandra herself is a chocoholic or a chocolate fan, so she's got some interesting takes. The Sandra Boynton book obviously has lots of fun illustrations in it. She's got a little glossary at the back <laughs> with languages and a couple recipes. Fun, just little silly things about chocolate with a little... I don't know, snark, sarcasm <laughs> kind of flavor to it. Not quite the, not as innocent as some of her other books. Not, I don't know, innocent's not exactly the right word, but just kind of, it can have a little sarcastic tone to it sometimes. But fun for adults, fun for kids, interesting information, uh, silly information. <laughs> it's just a book that your kids might like and you might like as well as an adult. And the last one I'm going to recommend is the same one I recommended for my adult reading list. And it is this one, Chocolate, Indulge Your Inner Chocoholic. I really like this one for older kids, even from like when they can start reading on their own. There's some great pictures for them to look at. Let's take a look at the inside. And lastly, one of my favorite books. Again, it's a DK book, so they do information and pictures really well together. So this is one of my favorite ones. It has, it's accessible to any age. It's got these gorgeous pictures focusing on artisan craft chocolate. It's got history. It has about the pod and the tree itself, about growing conditions. It talks about how chocolate is manufactured, where chocolate comes from. Just so much interesting information that you can pick up and read one page, or you can pick up and read a few pages, or you can read the whole thing. It's got recipes in the back that you can do. It teaches you how to create craft chocolate. There's gorgeous pictures, great information. Just one of my favorite chocolate books of all time. Okay, so that's my current <laughs> book. Um, recommended reading list for kids uh, with regard to chocolate. Now there's the other fiction books that are out there like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or The Chocolate Touch or The Chocolate Wars. There's all kinds of books in there with chocolate in the title. Um, lots of fiction ones. So by all means read those as well. I have some issues with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, but yeah 
reading is good, chocolate is good, um, start your kids early, <laughs> and by the time they're teenagers, they'll be chocolate sommeliers and connoisseurs and experts and will blow you away with their chocolate knowledge. So if you have a book that you've read that you think I should read or a book that you would um, recommend kids read that have to do with chocolate, make sure to let me know because I there's always new books coming out and I love to learn and I love to read. So let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Don't you like talking about chocolate with me? Hit that subscribe button and we can hang out every Thursday and talk about chocolate. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.